Would you be kind enough to move that ass of yours? We should get together for a good libation. Belly full, axe sharpened, and liquor awaits. Ready for battle.
Take that. <laughs> I can hear them. Things could get hot. Right, get out. Looks like it's all over. Thanks for your help, Zoltan. Say nothing of it. Enough yapping. Time for some vodka. First, I want to see if my fuck date's still waiting. Just don't strain yourself. It takes energy to drink with us too, you know. What is it, Witcher? Who is that girl? Cynthia. A leashed sorceress. A charming expression. Do you also use muzzles? Leash means a connection between a sorceress and her assistant. An unfortunate term, I admit, but it explains how things are. Cynthia can tap my power, use my spells. She's a conduit. And she's learning along the way. It's convenient, and except for the name, not derisive at all. But you're not here to talk about Cynthia. At the Council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the Fallen and turns them into Draugrs. Is that the Witcher's professional name for wraiths? Draugrs are demons of war. 
They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles, their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a Draugr, but as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the Curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth, that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Glevesig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega? Exactly. Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those artifacts. What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glevesig got into a conflict with the Commander-in-Chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. What happened here three Hence, nobody won that fire. And so I think Sir she placed the curse. I'm good for now. You wanted to dis- I found an immortel. Excellent. You wanted to discuss some- I'm looking for Triss. Letho forced her to teleport near Vergen. Letho? Foltest's killer. Perhaps Demavens too. Will you help me find her? Certainly. We sorceresses must stick together. We have too many enemies. Triss contacted you through Sheila de Tanzerville's megascope while in Flotsam. And I haven't heard from her since. Can you locate her? A megascope responds to a person's aura. If I had something of hers, I could find her. You were close to her. Maybe you have something. No, I don't have anything. Not good. Wait. A local drunkard claims he saw a redhead fall out of the sky. This could be a lead. Drunkards say all sorts of nonsense. One claimed his dog was writing poetry. Perhaps they're just drunken delusions. It's possible, however, that an unstable teleport ejected Triss near the town. As it's our only lead, I'll talk to this drunkard. Do you know him? I'm not used to associating with drunkards, but you'll likely find him in the inn. Thank you. Come back as soon as you learn anything.
Let me tell you about the woman who fell from the sky. Look, uh, another one. told that story. You left one human in an enormous amount of guess. Guess. Swarm. Swarm. It was very unusual. I heard human women need only sit astride a man. At your service. Greetings. The mine's safe again. Any plans to do something? Of course. Soon as the battle's done, we'll resume digging. Shame to let those rich deposits go to waste. My uncle says they'll put Zoltan's talking about a shared enterprise or some such. He's to manage operations with my uncle as general overseer. We just got to save the town first. He travels the skies, killing monsters for you. told that story a thousand times. I've heard enough of it. I heard you saw something interesting. As clearly as I see you. Amazing. I look into the sky. But wait. You must buy a fellow a drink for such a story. Well, you shut it already. We can all recite this bullshit now. I'm a client and I'll say what I want. Pour me some Mahakam and Mead and no cheating. This noble wayfarer will pay. I'm a little short right now. I heard you saw. Yes, but we. Well, I'm a. I'm a little short right now. I heard you. Yes, but we. Well, I'm a. But if you are such a fun speak. Last week I was passing by the gullies. I like to take a hike from time to time. Get to the point. Hush. So I'm walking and suddenly there's a flash, a crack. I'm thinking, a storm's coming, but nearly a cloud in the sky. You hit the ground with your arse so hard you saw a flash. You were that drunk. Then I saw people lying in a gully, as if they'd fallen from the sky, a man and a woman. The woman was so beautiful, I wished she'd fallen down on me. What did the woman look like? A redhead, wearing a vest and high shoes, with pert tits and a round arse, just waiting to be grabbed and... Well, it sounds just like your old lady. Shut your mouth! What happened then? Well, the woman was hurting, couldn't get up. The man clearly disliked her, because he didn't help her. He just stood there, menacing and talking. And then he left, and the redhead stayed. Noticed her tits, but didn't even try to help her, you sod. I was about to do exactly that when a troll came out of the gully, ugly as shit after blueberries. Did it attack her? Not at all. I hid and saw everything. First he sniffed her, so I thought he'd eat her. But he didn't. He threw her over his shoulder like a sack and returned to the gullies. Is that all? Yes. Didn't waste your money, as you'll agree. Let me tell. Hmm. Business or re rest? Ah, how can I help? I'm looking for places steeped in magic. You remember any stories of sorcerers or magical places in the area? Not counting the fire spitting bits from three years ago. 
Well, a sorcerer once lived in the wood beyond Vergen. You could look there. Maybe something's left. You might also speak to Cecil. Nobody knows Vergen's history as well as our older man. How can I help? One freak bigger than the next.
Try anything. Greetings, Vatgern. I'm glad to see you again. Again? Flotsam? The fire? Funny how these things work. I'll never forget that. Oh, unimportant. Needless to say, I'm deeply indebted. Hmm. Sorry. No need to be. But I feel I should pay you back somehow. I've started anew here, you know. That always builds confidence. Sure I can't tempt you with something? Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? It is if you want it to be. We elves might seem strange by your standards. You saved my life. A bit of joy as recompense is not too much to ask. I'm intrigued. It's been a tough day. I think some joy might do me good. Am I ever glad to have that debt off my mind? I'm happy for you. I'm happy for us both. Oh, I have a memento for you. Take this. A key? Mmm. To an old mine pit. I've no use for it. But you're quite the... All right. Thanks.
Who there? A witcher. Bumpkins wish her sent to me kill. So be. Kill. Quick. No pain. First tell me, where's the woman you kidnapped? Kidnap none! I troll! A dwarf saw you carrying a human woman. Me stupid. Sick she. Me carry. Her help. Feed. Pet. But she run go. Mrs. First run go. Redhead then. All gone. Soup only stay. What's in the pot? Soup. Elf and onion. Good. One try? Tell me, troll, what happened here? Me in Gullies, Mrs. in Gullies. Bones found. Nice to know. And Wham! Humus from Skyfall! You're lying, troll. People don't fall from the sky. Troll, true tell! Flash crack! Two humans drop where Dumble ship. Human man, big as troll. And woman. I go see! Was the man bald? Did he have a scar? Wish a man likes man. See, I from far. Bald, yes. Scar, no see. Run he go to Gullies. Leave redhead Humi. Down. See, I go. Redhead grown. Her pain. Closer, I agree. Run, she not go. Let her grow. Take me, Humi, woman. Go home. Missus angry. Go Humi wench thin bones. Hungry, missus, yap and yap. Then run, go own for food. Give water, redhead Humi. Leaves cover leg. Humi redhead nice. Pet she when sleeps. Redhead have kerchief. Nice to sniff. Mrs. come back. Elves in hand. Drop thin wench. Eat it, she call. Mrs. yap. Rag give. Troll say not. Nice to feel. Stench troll like. Missy say, she or me, troll think. Nice redhead, nice rag stench. Troll, Mrs. Tell, Mrs. Troll with log beat and run go. Even left elves. What happened to the redhead? Redhead, wrong pain. Redhead stay, pain gone. Redhead run go at night. Troll sleep. Wind howl empty. Do you still have the redhead's bandana? No, Missy's take away. Old bug leave elf's frag steal and run go. Where did she go, your wife? Gullies, Missy's gullies like. Gullies me like. Why don't I look for her? Wish your missus no kill. Good old bug. Little batty. I won't hurt your woman. Missus tell come back. Below. Be terrible. Wind howl empty. Fine. I'll tell your mate to come back. But I need the redhead's bandana. Mrs. have. Mrs. good. She up give. As soon as she back. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, my God.